Hello, welcome to Brian's Table Talks. I apologize for my voice. I am a couple of weeks removed from COVID, so I'm still getting over it. So hopefully you can understand me or Hal's going to have to fix it. And Hal, my good pal Hal's here doing all the hard work. So You, you sound better with that voice. <laughs> um, so I was doing some thinking. I um, Years ago, I was a project manager in construction, and I would interview and hire salespeople. And I had a golden rule that if the salesperson did not, at the end of the interview, I asked, do you have any questions? If they didn't say, when do I get the job or when do I start? I wouldn't hire them. And my thinking was, if they didn't close the deal with me, then they weren't gonna close it with anybody else. And I had this one person come in and I interviewed her and she was really quiet. And I don't know why, but I broke my rule. She never asked me any questions, but I went ahead and followed my gut and I hired her. And she did an incredible job. My first impression of her was wrong. And you'll hear first impressions are important, and they are, because so many people form their opinions of others based on a first impression. The reality is people are icebergs. And like an iceberg, you see just a small part of them. You don't see what's really underneath. You might see their clothing, you might see certain mannerisms, but you don't know their education, you don't know their struggles, you don't know their joys, you don't know where they've been. Uh, and there's so many pieces to it. We make our judgment calls on a snap decision without getting to know somebody. I bet that we've missed opportunities to make great friends. We've, had, we've lost opportunities to build great relationships because somebody wasn't wearing the right shirt or didn't drive the right car. And we never got to know them. And it got me to thinking, what would it be like if we learned how to take our first impressions and realize that's all they are? They're an impression. They're not the whole picture. What would it be like if you took time to get to know somebody? You're going to disagree with them. My pal Hal and I have disagreements on a fairly regular basis, and yet we're still good friends. We talk all the time because we've gotten to know each other. And I think that's one of the things that we've lost in a, in a very quick society, dating app, swipe left, swipe right. You don't get to know a person. Um, we're looking for immediate gratification. We're looking for everything to be perfect. Divorces are high because something goes wrong. People fail to work at it. Relationships, the best of them, take time, take work. I've been married for 32 years and I'm still learning. And it's work. And I love it. Training a dog, training a puppy, it's work. But I love it. We need to slow down, take our first impressions, have them, and then bury them, and then get to know the person. You know what? I bet you find you have a lot more friends and a lot better friends. Friends, I hope you enjoy the cooling weather. I hope you find opportunities to go on a picnic, uh, to go outside, and to be in God's creation, but not alone. We're never meant to be alone, and you never are. Till next time, this is Brian Table Talks. Have a great week. Bye-bye.